Pepper and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! When a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh! Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world. So we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket. <gasps> Does that mean? Yes, it means we're going to America. America. Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America. I think. Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming in to land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No. This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. <laughs> wow! The buildings are so tall! First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow! wow. Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy! There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look! There's Super Potato! Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Ash Brown, Vegetables in Space! That's a movie we're going to be in! Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood! Yes. Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels! Ooh. Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? A meat hash brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. Traffic jam. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are making lunch for Pepper and her family. I've dug up some more potatoes. Oh, Grandpa, we've already got plenty of potatoes. You can never have too many potatoes. OK, but get the potatoes in the oven. The others will be here soon. Oh, oh we've plenty of time. It's only 11 o'clock. 
Pepper and her family are on their way. I wish we'd set off sooner. We're going to be late again. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We've still got loads of time. We're always late when we go to Granny and Grandpa's. <laughs> Not this time. I've found a new way that avoids all the traffic. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Pepper and her family are stuck in a traffic jam. Look, there's Danny Dog and Grandad Dog. Danny Dog and Grandad Dog are in the traffic jam too. Hello, Pepper. <coughs> Hello, Pepper. <coughs> We're going to my Granny and Grandpa's for lunch. We're going to be late. It's one o'clock. They're late, as usual. <coughs> How are your potatoes doing? Um, they still need a bit more cooking. Granny Pig speaking. Hello, Granny Pig. We're stuck in a traffic jam. Don't worry. We're running late too. Grandpa's gone over the top with potatoes. See you in a bit. The poor dears are stuck in a traffic jam. Sounds like I've got time to get a few more potatoes. Grandpa Pig. We're moving so slowly. We'll never get to Granny and Grandpa's. Peppa's right. We have to try a different way. But there aren't any other main roads. I know a shortcut. Bye-bye, everyone. We're taking a shortcut. Bye-bye, Peppa. Good luck. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut to get ahead of the traffic. The shortcut is very bumpy. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Trust me. Hello, ducks. We're taking a shortcut. <laughs> Look, there's the main road again. Well done, Mummy Pig. But we're still behind Danny's lorry. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig's shortcut has not worked very well. Lunch is ready. And, most important of all, the potatoes are done. Lunch is ready, but Peppa and her family are still not here. Grandpa Pig speaking. We're almost at your house. But the traffic is still moving at the speed of a snail. A very, very slow snail. They're almost here, but they're still in the traffic jam. Poor dears. <coughs> the food is going to get cold. I've got an idea. I'll get my wheelbarrow. What is Grandpa Pig doing? Granny Pig, <coughs> load the lunch into the wheelbarrow. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. If they can't come to the lunch, we have to take the lunch to them. <laughs> Look! There's Granny and Grandpa with our lunch in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Ahoy there! Lunch is served. Is there enough for Danny and Grandad Dog to have some too? We've got enough for everyone. Hooray! Potato! <laughs> Good job you did lots and lots of potatoes, Grandpa. Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> Grandpa's little tray. Pepper and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Pepper and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Peppa and 
George loved Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo. All day long. And the piggies on the train go oink oink oink. Oink oink oink. Oink oink oink. And the piggies on the train go oink oink oink. All day long. <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny, if you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, bus. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh... Good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam! Come on, Gertrude! Come on, Gertrude! Oh, well done! It's amazing what can be done by a toy train. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> sleepover. It is night time. Pepper is going to a sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. Hi, Pepper. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye! <laughs> Rebecca, Susie and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. <laughs> Susie has her owl. twit to woo And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> Mr Zebra is watching television. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bag. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. The sleepover is only for big girls. Oh, 
They're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK. But you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> wow! A piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And, and me. me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. What's a midnight feast? We eat things in secret. Ooh! Ooh. I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. <laughs> Shh, Susie. Shh, Peppa. Quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me. And me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty. And she had a fairy wand. Lovely. Your turn, Emily. Tell us what happens next. Well, I'm not really sure. Just say anything, Emily. As long as it's not boring. OK. The little fairy met a big monster who went... Eek! Too scary! <laughs> What's all this noise? Oh, dear. The noise has woken Mr Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy and a scary monster. And we want to know what happens next. Very well. <coughs> The monster lifted up his big, hairy paws oh. and walked along on his big, hairy feet. Ooh. And he said... Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Mr Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. It is home time at Peppa's playgroup. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup is coming to stay. Who? Teddy Playgroup is our school mascot. It's Peppa's turn to take him home. He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush. It's all in his suitcase. I see. Peppa, Daddy Pig and Teddy Playgroup have arrived home. Mummy Pig? We have a special guest staying with us tonight. Really? Who's that? Teddy Playgroup. He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush. What's the photo album for? We take photos of him doing exciting things. Oh. My friends have took Teddy Playgroup all over the world. London, Paris, Egypt... Oh, I say, Teddy Playgroup does have an exciting life. Um, I hope he has an exciting time with us. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Teddy Playgroup. Hello. He is our special guest. You all have to make room. Grrr. Oh, and that is Mr Dinosaur. He's not very good at talking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a photo for Teddy Playgroup's album. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese! Daddy, Teddy Playgroup needs to have an exciting time tomorrow. Can we go to the North Pole? Uh, how about the supermarket? Yes! I don't think Teddy Playgroup has ever been shopping before. 
It is morning. Pepper is taking Teddy Playgroup to the supermarket. <laughs> this shop sells everything. Oranges, apples, bananas. Very interesting. <laughs> this is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. <laughs> George wants to take a picture. <laughs> OK, George. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> That's enough pictures, George. <laughs> oh, where is Teddy Playgroup? Teddy Playgroup is missing. Daddy, you've lost Teddy Playgroup. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm sure we'll find him. Hello. How was your day? Daddy lost Teddy Playgroup. Oh, no. But I've got a plan to find him. Teddy Playgroup Daddy. First, we print out all the photos we took of him. Mummy Pig is unpacking the shopping. Where are you going? We're going to stick pictures of Teddy Playgroup on trees. Oh. Daddy, wait for me! Why are we sticking photos on trees, Daddy? When people see the pictures of Teddy Playgroup, They'll know he's lost, and they can help us find him. Oh, this is Teddy in my bed. <laughs> this is Teddy in the kitchen. <laughs> and these are George's pictures at the supermarket. Ah, oh, Teddy Playgroup. I know where he is. <laughs> oh, hello. Mummy, we know where Teddy Playgroup is. Yes, he's in the shopping bag with the pasta and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is showing her class Teddy Playgroup's photo album. I was worried that Teddy Playgroup wouldn't have an exciting adventure with us. Then luckily, my daddy lost him at the supermarket. <gasps> but we found him again in the shopping. Ooh. That was an exciting adventure. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling. It is a lovely sunny morning and Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. <whistles> try making a smaller O shape. <laughs> oh, oh. Like this. And then you can whistle a tune. Uh, I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. <laughs> it took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <laughs> oh, yes! Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Pepper. George is in the bedroom playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible. Like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> 
What's wrong, Pepper? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <coughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Pepper. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Pepper talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <whistles> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody. Cookies. <coughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? <laughs> yes, lots, but it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Pepper. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. <whistles> oh, what's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Pepper has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle. <laughs> the secret club. <laughs> Pepper has come to play with Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Pepper. Why have you got that mask on your face? So people don't know it's me. I'm in a secret club. Ooh, can I be in your secret club? Shh. It's not easy to get into. You have to say the secret word. What word? Flubber double. Flubber double? Right, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Dog has come to play. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Shh. What? I'm in a secret club. I'm in it too. Ooh. Pedro Pony, Candy Cat and Rebecca Rabbit have come to play. Hello! Shh! Susie and Peppa are in a secret club. Can we join your secret club? It's very hard to get into. You have to say the secret word. Shalama cookie. Shalama cookie? That's not the word I said. It changes all the time to keep it secret. Oh. Are we in the secret club now? You're in. What do we do? We do secret things in secret. And secretly go on secret missions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Show us how you do a secret mission. Yes, show us. Uh, Peppa can do it. You've got the mask on, Susie. OK, my secret mission is to get biscuits. Watch this. Susie Sheep is trying not to be seen. Mummy, can I have some biscuits for my friends, please? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Mummy. Susie Sheep has returned with the biscuits. Hooray! Shh! Hooray! Did anyone see you? No. Well, only a grown-up. Look out! Would you like some juice to go with your biscuits? What biscuits? The biscuits I just gave you for your friends. Oh, Susie! What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? 
Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy, but don't say anything about our secret club. Hello. Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, uh, secret club. Oh, no! Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig. Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Oh, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. We can't have everyone in the secret club. It wouldn't be a secret. Oh. I suppose it doesn't have to be a secret secret club. <laughs> it can be the everybody secret club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> fruit. It is fruit day at the supermarket. Look, it's Mr Potato. Mrs Carrot. Sweet Cranberry and Little Sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, orange, banana, pear and pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow, so much fruit. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello. We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. <laughs> Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? <laughs> is it bananas? Or oranges. George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry. George loves strawberries. Smoothies. Get your fruit smoothies here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. <laughs> Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. Raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I 
have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot? Yes, a carrot. Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. Mm. Are you all enjoying fruit day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> Everyone loves fruit and carrots. 